love, I love shooting at this location. I've shot him many times before. Ah, it's just an awkward and very difficult location, not only to shoot at, but to uh, vlog at. The big basalt boulders. Um, make it very uh, unstable ground. So I'm just getting this rock here, this big, uh, this awesome looking uh, rock hitting out. Here, got some nice, uh, nice soft clouds out here. Just waiting for some waves to crash in uh, around all these rocks here. And then I'll take a uh, three second shutter speed. Um, Real moody sky up behind me here, so I'm going to turn around in a minute and get an image of that. But for right now, I'm just going to concentrate on this rock here. Really like this rock. It's a lot of character when there's heaps of waves crashing on it. It's glorious. It's all this basalt rock here. There's, uh, from an ancient volcano, uh, Tweed Heads. And it's an unusual um, landscape here on the Gold Coast because you've got these beautiful, long, white, uh, sandy beaches. Then all, all of a sudden this headland juts out uh, of the Gold Coast and you get this amazing headland, uh, Burley. I think I'm gonna turn around, take an image of this other rock. Wait. Yeah, it looks nice. F13, three seconds, ISO 100. Got some nice moody skies behind me here. I think I'm gonna turn around and start shooting that one. What a glorious morning. So I've turned around just shooting that other, uh, other main rock there. And I really like this rock too. So there's two uh, prominent rocks here on Burley Head that jut out and they just make for really nice uh, really nice seascape images. Just got to wait for the waves to crash up and I've timed the uh, I've timed the tide or came out when the tide was perfect. It's just coming in now. Uh, if it's too far out, this, these images wouldn't work because the, the water doesn't crash till the front of this rock. But uh, right now it's awesome. Very important to uh, doing seascape, know the tide before you come out. The clouds are breaking up at the moment um, and I think they're dispersing. Um, so I'll have to get the shots. Quick rapid fire off, especially this rock here. You yeah, really like that. I'm trying to get separation from the top of the rock, water, horizon and sky. So might bring my tripod up just a little bit, just to get that separation. Wait for a big wave. Yeah, nice. And as I said, the only problem with here is you can't, <laughs> You can't go anywhere or move quickly. I'm pretty much set up here because these rocks are really awkward and slippery to navigate. So um, once you've got your spot, you pretty much have to stick to it. You can't, can't see a nice rock down the beach there and run towards it. Oh, man, trying to balance. Trying to balance on these rocks plays havoc. Here comes a huge wave. All right, here comes a big wave. Shutter speed might be too long for the power of those waves. So I'll go down to one second. Go down to one second, see how we go from there. Another wave, another set forming. Might go back 
well, people are thinking about vlogging and balancing. I might go back along, see if I get one of the city, um, those moody clouds, but get a couple more shots from here. Just waiting for a big wave to come in. There's one out the back there now, sucking up. Oh, it was hard to get up this morning, but well worth it. Absolutely perler of a morning. Gone a bit wider on the shot. I was a little bit tight, but now I'm going to get, try and get a, a length of the, these basalt rocks here, see how that looks with the white water crashing on them. That contrast normally looks really nice. Sky's gone a bit dull. It looked like he was going to kick off before, but ah, never mind. Still, uh, still good to have a bit of cloud in the sky. Bit of moody cloud there. Looks good. Sun's about to rise in, I'd say, uh, 15 minutes. Might get some more pinks or red in the sky, but we'll see how we go. Well, I'm waiting on the sun to rise. Uh, hopefully, get to get some nice light, but I think there's too much cloud out on the bank, out on the horizon there. But never mind, I still got that moody sort of look I was going for. And I'm shooting back along this, uh, using this, these rocks here, these basalt black rocks. Against that jagged sort of shark fin one back there behind me. And I've said it before, just this, the crashing white foam against these jet black rocks. That contrast looks really nice. And I'll chuckle the images up at the end here. And I'll go through them. And uh, see which ones I like. And um, yeah, great morning to be out. It's normally quite busy down here. Well, busy. There's like three or four other photographers normally down here, but it's a weekend morning. And uh, another one here. A few surfers out, a few fishermen out on that uh, groin uh, wall over the other side of the river there. Yeah, got this place all to myself. I think I managed to grab a couple of good images from this morning. Uh, looking on the back of the camera anyway, uh, sunrise didn't really, really pop. Um, and it's, there's a big bank of cloud uh, there that's uh, preventing the sun from coming through all the sunlight on these rocks. So yeah, I might, might go home, might call it a morning. Absolutely magnificent spot on the Gold Coast here, if you're over here. Uh, landscape photography spot. It's probably one of the best uh, seascape sunrise spots on the Gold Coast anyway, with these uh, awesome rocks, these basalt rocks and that shark fin rock there. And another round boulder just there. So yeah, I'm gonna um, have a call cool in the morning and go. Uh, leave a comment and uh, thanks for watching. And I'll see you on next week's adventure.